Hello, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and in today's sewing vlog I'm going to show you how I made this overall from an old pair of jeans. It's a short overall and I shoot it in the dunes which was very lovely until it started raining and I got wet. Here is the jeans that I used to make this overall. I bought it in a lovely thrift store for 5 euros. I'm going to start by cutting the short. For the method I'm going to use, you need to make sure that the jeans is big enough so you can put it on without opening the button. You can buy one that is super stretchy or a little bit too big for you. Now to decide the length of the short, I'm going to use this kind of modesty short. I guess that's what you call it as a guidance. I like to wear these under my skirts because I'm quite a clumsy person. So I put this on over the jeans and then I marked the length that I wanted. Then I cut a little bit under that because I want the bottom of these shorts to have that unraveling effect and I will create that in the washing machine. Then I put the short back on so I could measure the length that I would need to make it a pattern for the top. I first measured the length that I wanted the top to have. I'm going to go for 35 centimeters or 14 inches. Now for the width of the top of the top part. I'm going to measure between my bra straps and this was 24 centimeters. Give me a second to look how much that is an inch. That's 9.5 inches for the lovely people living at the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Then I ripped and cut the jeans legs open until I had four separated pieces that I'm going to use to make the front and the back of the salopé. Now I'm going to make the pattern with those measurements. So I started with the length. I measured the length from 35 centimeters or 14 inches. And then I marked this point. Now I'm going to use the width that we measured between the bra straps. And you're going to divide this in half because we will make two pieces. And then I drew another line with half of this measurement. And now I'm going to connect the end of this line with the end of the bottom part. And this actually makes the pattern. So I cut this out and now I'm going to copy this. Make sure that you flip it in mirror image so you have two pieces that align. And then I copied it and cut it out again. And now you have the two front pieces. Now with me, because the jeans was not fully even, I needed to do a little correction at the side, but for the rest, this was perfect. To make the back part, I'm going to do it in the same way and use the same measurements. The only measurement that I changed is the one that we measured between the bra straps for the width, because you don't need so much width here, because the only thing that you will attach to it are the straps. So I will use eight centimeters or 3.1 inches for this measurement. And for the rest, you can do exactly the same. So I have the back now and now I need a strap. So I took all of the scraps from the jeans and I converted them into straps with a width of 8 centimeters. And once I had all my straps, I realized that I forgot something really important. That cute little pocket in front of my overall. So I took one of the straps and I cut this in half so it could form the pocket. This pocket is quite small now, but the pockets on the back of this short L are also super small, so I feel like it kind of fits. Before I set them all together, I added fusible interfacing to all of the pieces, including the straps. And I also zigzag stitched around the edges. This creates the same effect as overlocking. And both of these steps will protect your fabric better. and will also give it a more neat outcome. So I really recommend that you do this, but it's not mandatory. Now I'm going to set the pieces from the front, back and the cute little pockets together and I'm going to sew them into what hopefully will be a long lasting relationship that ends in a marriage. And to make sure that they will always stay in love, I'm going to sew it more than once and I will press it down with my good friend the ironer. 
Then I prepared the pockets to go into the relationship with the top part. And I did this by pressing down on all the edges so I could sew it neatly to the pocket. Now I don't have footage of this, but like the upper edge, I already sewn that, but the other edges, I didn't sew them. Like you can see here, only the upper edge is sewed. And then I pinned the pocket to the front on a place that I liked it. I would advise you to pin it in the middle. And then I sewn around the other three edges to make it into a functional mini cute pocket. Then I finished up the edges of the front and back part by folding over half a centimeter. I think this must be around a quarter inch. And then I pressed this with my ironer before feeding it to my sewing machine because it was hungry. Before attaching the overall parts to the shorts, I'm going to close the button. Once this was done, I pinned my front part to the shorts. Now this is something that I should have said before, but you're going to sew to a lot of layers of jeans. So you need a good needle and you need to go slowly. For the needle, I stopped using needles made to sew jeans and I started using needles made to sew leather to sew jeans because these don't break. So I pinned and sewn the front and the back part to the short and now all I need is straps and maybe a million dollars, but you know, straps are way easier to make than a million dollars. I pinned and sewn three of the little straps together to make one big strap. Then I flattened this with my ironer and I folded it in half and ironed this again. Again. And you need to do this in a way that the ugly, or like in my case, the inner facing faces you. Then I sewn the straps as close as possible to the edge with a straight stitch. And now it's time for the most annoying part of them all. That was turning them around because, you know, they weren't as flexible as I had hoped. But it worked out at the end. So now I have two straps and, you know, still the same amount of money on my bank account. Then I pinned the straps to the back. When you pin them, it's very important that you pin them in an angle in a way that you can draw a triangle between them. Then I sewn this with a simple straight stitch. I also sewn this more than once, just in case. The width of the straps came out a little bit smaller than I expected. So to make this look a little bit more aesthetic, I'm going to use my scissors at the seam ripper and open around the centimeter of the edge. And I will fold this over the strap and sew this with a simple straight stitch and then reattach the back, of course. You don't have to do this, but I just uh, liked the way that this looked. Then I added these two buttons on top. For the buttons that I bought here, you need a hammer so you can let all of your aggression out. And once these were installed, I added the belt loops um, to the straps. And then I put this on to set the belt loops to size. So I chose a size that I liked. That made the overall look good on me, but that was not too tight. And then I pinned this and sewn this, and that finishes the project. And here is the salope or jeans short overall one more time. I really liked how this turned out. I like the length of the shorts, uh, how it looks overall, and the cute little pockets on the back and in the front. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time, hopefully. Bye!